Hello and welcome back to uh, another video, South to North here. Um, today I'm actually out in the garden, as you can see, because of how nice the, um, the weather is. And I'm going to be showing you my gist, but it won't be, it would be just dedicated to road capsize this video, because um, some of my videos um, on road studs are dedicated to all of them, but this is just road capsize. So I thought I want to give you a bit of an update, now I've got a couple more added to the collection since you last seen it and there's one very special one that I'm going to show you um, and that should hopefully be my thumbnail um, after the video so this is the first one this is a, um, a proper cat's eye road stud however all of its eyes are missing and this was found literally well in the countryside but I saw it laying on, on the side of the verge and as I was in a car it was a main road and you could it couldn't really be collected you see so um, Thankfully, um, later on, I uh, managed to get the bike out and uh, go and um, collect it. Here it is. Um, it's very worn out um, because obviously a new one um, would look more like I've got one next to me somewhere, like this, with um, all of its eyes in, and you can obviously see the different in conditions um, too. Also, off. Oh, fantastic one of my collection. Do you remember when I was showing um, these? You might remember these. These are very old road cat eyes, but this one's had a lot of usage. And I've got nine identical ones roughly to this, but pretty similar. Well, I've got a, I've got a new old stock, if that's what you call it, of that. And here it is. This is a proper 1970s cat eye, I'd say. And it was never ever used and I found it luckily on eBay and bought it because I wanted to have one of the original types of cat size. Here it is. As I say it works absolutely perfectly and um, I've got plenty of um, cast iron housings for it if I need it but I, uh, I've only put it in here once because I don't want to risk breaking this or tearing the rubber because it's just a, it's more of an antique than a you know, rough stuff to me. Um, but Obviously, they can these these, these cat type cat eyes can come very easily out of their uh, metal housing. I've got two of these. Um, this one was actually found on the side of a main road, um, which was quite lucky to be honest with you, because um, they very rarely fall out. And when they do fall out, it's very rare that you find one on the side of the road. This one was in a disused road, but it was suspended in dirt and cement. It was just round the edges of it, so I uh, took. A load of tools with me the next day um because i knew where this was located on a disused road didn't have a rubber insert in it it just been sitting there for years so i got the hammer and chisel out chiseled around it and eventually got it out um and also this was all f filled up with dirt there was no road cat sign in it so i took ages to chisel all that out as well but i've got two identical old um, metal housings from more like the original design I haven't got the original design. The original design from the 1930s. Don't even know if there's any existing really, to be honest with you, anywhere. And obviously I've got the new style housing as well with a black light dome rope stud in it. Um, because of the, I'm just hoping that you can see that on my camera. If I put it in the sun, I'm guessing that you should be able to see it because uh, it's so light out here I can't even see my screen. Um, but um, yeah, that's these i've got quite a few of these um black ones because these were also dug out of disused road now i usually acquired them because a lot of people ask me where do i get road studs from they are either dug out of disused roads or found on main roads at the side so i won't dig them out of main roads because when i'm one it's too dangerous number two that is a bit naughty um unless um road studs are in this condition i might dig them out um, but these ones even these ones are from disused roads um and they've seen a lot of wear as well over the time now I'm not sure what type of road stud this exactly is. It looks like a light dome, but it could be a 3M one because if anyone's seen one of these before with square eyes in it, these are very well, very much more rarer than the normal light dome style. But this one's made by 3M. When I bought it, the seller did not know where this had come from, what company it was. But you can clearly say it says 3M there. Um, but some of them I buy, if they're like this, these are very rare to get hold of, so I had to buy this one. And uh, the seller probably didn't know the value of it actually because they sold it rather cheap, about £5. 
So, as I say, you can get hold of them cheap, or you can find them on the side of main roads. Now, I'm going to show you roughly where, well, each one of these roadsters actually came from. So, if you were trying to get one of these, now there's still a few in this road, but if you know a road called Sharnow Street, it's the A228 and it's back down in Kent on the Hoop Peninsula. It came from a section of disused road called Sharnow Street, which had been disused since the probably very early 2000s. And cat's eyes are just rotted in next condition, but I like them, they look quite nostalgic. I have nine of these and I'll just try and locate all of these. Um, there's another two obviously you could get you could get um misleaded because some road cat size when light dome get old they look like this i know this is a light dome because you can faintly see it's right on the side of it and the number because they always have numbers where you can might just be able to see that number number six I believe whereas the 3m style ones don't have any number in them on that area Anyway, there's six. Well, there's six. I now need to find the other three. Which there's another one, two. And also, if you try and get one of these out, um, it's no rush job because these take a long time. They've been suspended or like trapped in dirt for so many years. You have to first put a chisel down in between this gap because this gap is already here, you see. Because it would have cleaned the eyes that were originally there. That gap, you have to put a chisel down in that gap and smash all the dirt up because it's all like, it's like cement when you put it in there at first. And it could take about five or ten minutes to get them out. Now, there's the other one. So we have nine of these cat size in that style. Which obviously is identical to this one, but this one's just seen no years of usage. That's the only difference between it. Um, also, my very first cat's eye that I ever acquired was back in 2008, and it was one like this. Now, you're probably wondering what had happened here, because this is a light dome, um, it's got its numbers in it, it's got all of its eyes in, and they work very well, all of them. But what's actually happened is that when I first acquired this, my dad found it in a labour, and he thought I might like something a bit nostalgic like that. And obviously, it's bought this hobby on ever since, but... The actual cat's eye itself, we've cut it out, and because um, my dad said you don't want that grubby thing around the edge, do you? Um, so we decided to cut it out. But I do, I do feel like that was a bad idea now, looking back at it, because I can't fit it in the housings anymore. I mean, it could just sit on top, but uh, anyway, at least I've got the eyes and some of the body frame. But I, I really now look back and wish I kept the rest of it. I don't know what I was thinking. Anyway, um, that was when into back back in 2009 I was angry about cutting you know, out of the body frame and still am today. So I decided that I wanted a cat size with all of its body frame. That was when the Harvest Service Limited helped out and this one arrived into the collection brand new actually. Because my mum was hunting and hunting to see if she could find anywhere where you could buy these things. Because obviously they're very strange things, you can't just buy these from an average shop. But here it is. This is the next one with our quite brand new, so my parents let me keep it because it's got a clean body frame. And that's um, was back in 2009. But still, they were, what do you call them, they were CE marked back in 2009 actually. Because before that they were British um, standard marked. Because it says BS873 Part 4 and that's very much older than 2009 one. If you could just about see that. I'll get another cat's eye because um, I can't see that myself very well out here. Uh, but on the other side, there you go, BS 873 Part 4. Because they originally stamped British stands before CE, eventually back in 2009. So these were definitely older than 2009, probably about 2007, 8, probably, because they're really good condition still. But that's because they got black body shells on black um, in sunlight. It doesn't seem to crack up, whereas white body shells seem to go in bad condition at the end of their lives. Um, that's and also, there's another one. There's an example of a white light dome cat's eye that has sort of crackled up in the sun. But still, it it remains quite good condition. It's got all of its glass eyes in it, but there is a sort of cat's This glass eye here, I believe. Yeah, I'm just looking at it now. It was an original with this cat's eye. Sometimes you find these on the side of lay-bys and stuff. Um, or main roads because when the eyes flick out of them 
they seem to land somewhere like the guttering area so I found one ages ago and just made it a complete cat's eye and there it is obviously all this brown stuff is like the rust from the cast iron housing this one was actually found on the butter tubs which is in Yorkshire um, this was laying up the side of the road and I decided to get hold of it but the very strange thing with this is that only a month later was all the road resurfaced with new cat size and this is the only survivor the only one that survives to this day is this one and it's funny it actually has a number one on it um, but I don't really know what those numbers mean so if you do know what these numbers mean here please let me know because they all have different numbers this one's 119 Yeah. Thank you for watching this video. Um, please do leave a comment if you do know what that number means, and I will see you in the next video.